And from here, you can actually start to turn this into something even a little more three-dimensional. So if I go back in my shaded view, you know, take this guy, this original rectangle that I had, I'm going to pull this down a little bit and then use the ball on the gumball and pull it up. Okay, so it does something like this. So it's overlapping the topography, right? Then I can click that surface that I may, had made. And remember, this is why we made it a surface, because if it was a mesh, I wouldn't be able to do a trim command and trim off the rest of this, you see, to get this guy. Now, this is my site model. I can even cap this off on the bottom if I want to. I'm not going to join these, because if I join these in the surface, that material that we put on here, which is the Mars image, will try to wrap around the whole object. We don't want that. So I'm just going to leave this as is. Um, and in my rendered view now, this is what it looks like. And that's how you get a topographical map from an image by using height field.